And I really want to talk about Dearborn, because everyone on the subreddit was saying, why did you erase this banger tweet, people were saying. It was about this video from Dearborn. That's where you're from, eh, AAB? Yeah, me and Lena are from Dearborn. Wow. So does this video surprise you? Yes, it did. Okay. Yeah. So what about it surprised you? Just you didn't think people were this f***ing crazy there? Yeah, I didn't think... Because, you know, we're used to the media misrepresenting us, and there is a group of people there, without getting too into it, that do have pure intentions, but clearly majority who are holding up these signs are clearly, like, homophobic and transphobic, which is just insane to me. Yeah, so there was a group of Muslims and Christians that locked hands in holy uh, collaboration to protest gay people. It's so. interfaith outreach. This is a good thing, you know? It's nice that they find common ground Absolutely. At, at long last. <laughs> they went to a school board meeting and protested that there were too many gay books. There were six specific books, I believe. Yeah. Which are, like, super normal. They're not, like, weird at all. I, was, I wasn't familiar with all of them, but some of them on the list I was familiar with, and I was baffled by... So I looked into the books, and there are some that are very explicit that some parents are there for actual young kids, but I think it's completely fine for high school. You know, this is about right. a high school? or Well, no, some uh, parents are claiming that their kids found these books, and they're as young as nine years old. Okay. But yeah, I think... What does it have, like, graphic sexual depiction? Yeah, sexual depiction, yeah. But clearly, majority of the people I mean, there with the signs and stuff are not... They don't care about the, the sexual stuff. It's... I mean, I, I don't know that I want my nine-year-old finding a big old fucking picture of a cock. I just, yeah. no, it's not like that. It's just like, so one of the books is the novel The Lovely Bones, mm -hmm. which people are probably familiar with. It was a very popular one when I was in school, I remember. And um, that one uh, has uh, depictions of a sexual assault in it. Pretty graphic. Well, and... And that's the thing, is it, not all of these are books that have, like, gay content. It's just any sort of sexual content, and this whatever is, the context. And this is for high school students to read, I'm assuming. Right. And so that's the thing, is I, you know, they're, they're claiming that these are in, like, an elementary school, but I, I don't really believe that, because I don't... And if they were, that seems like a mistake, because, yeah, I don't see... Mm -hmm a fourth grader reading The Lovely Bones. Yeah, what they're saying <laughs> is like these kids have access to these books because they're on the shelves in their school library. Right, so it's not even like... So like as of right now... You're not even necessarily yeah. going to... As of right now, no one can check out these books because they're under review. I said explicit. I meant explicit. I know Lena always corrects me. I always pronounce it wrong. I'm from Dearborn. See, we Wait. don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> what did you say, B, instead of? I said explicit instead of explicit. explicit. Yeah. I'm not the only idiot here now. No, am no, I? no. I always mispronounce. Yeah. There's dozens of us here. X X X Tassion. <laughs> <laughs> so here, anyway, this is the book. Like, it's a it's a novel. Uh, it's got 2.2 million reviews. It's like a. Well, yeah, it's a very famous it, one, but uh, there it is. Um, so here is them at the uh, school board. It's nice to see people come together, isn't it? There's a low energy chant that dipped off way too soon. It's pathetic. These protesters are sad. Wait, this doesn't look that bad. Wasn't there crazier videos in this? Mm. That's not even crazier videos. Or like, what's the one that I... What's the one that I tweeted here? Radio Geneva or whatever the fuck. This is the same one. That's the link? Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, here's some photos from it as well, but... I don't know. I just I do hate though all the people that they keep showing uh, in the news articles. I won't say names for my family's safety, but the usual suspects are in every article, and people in our hometown know that kind of the local idiots. So you know that some of the people in these videos. I know a lot of people in these. <laughs> really? Videos. Yeah. Yeah. On both sides of the people on the school board, I know. I know people in the audience. Yeah. Uh, here's some photos from the meeting. Let's see. 
keep your, let's read some of these signs, keep your dirty books on the closet. On the, in, in the, the closet. closet. Yeah. Is that a gay, is that a slur? Yep. Wow. In a book? Yep, yep, yep. Wowee. That's a crazy sign. Yeah. If, democra if democracy, damn, I really want to read it, but if democracy made were Fuck, I can't read it. Bye. Here, go down. It says it, it shows it in the next photo. Okay, great. If democracy matters, we're the majority. Uh, where? In Dearborn. <laughs> in the Dearborn bubble. I mean, that's that, why they think they're okay to say all this shit. Yeah, but there's also laws, bitch, that you can't, like, discriminate against gay people. You know, you also live in a country. Well, they're arguing that protecting their children, that's what they're using to hide behind. Keep your dirty books in the closet. Don't say it. I don't know what that one is. What does that one say? Who it Enjoy was. it while it lasts. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but whoever wrote these signs wrote all of them with the same markers. For sure. And just <laughs> passed them out. Point. Oh, whatever happened to the good old days? Who made who made that? Yeah, what happened yeah. to the good old days That's after just Yeah, Dearborn, what happened to the good old days after 9-11 where, you know, Muslim women were being punched in the fucking head for just wearing a scarf? Yeah, and the FBI was Tapping tricking uh <laughs> tricking people with mental disabilities into trying to bomb things and arrest them. Man, what happened to the good old days? The good old days. When you could just like Lock a woman in your house. You know, what's sad is a lot of people who are part of the gay community probably moved to Dearborn thinking they would be more open-minded, being that we are a community who's been discriminated against for so long. So, yeah, sad. What happened to the good old days, boy? Man? We used to eat asbestos for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Them's was the good old days, brother. I tell you what, man, ain't nothing like lead in a beverage. Mm-hmm. That's a good old days, boy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh-wee. Man, back in the good old days, I could just... I could just hang a gay person. Ain't nobody care. Ooh-wee. Them's the good old days. Brother and sister want to make love? <laughs> Now them gays be holding hands? Mm-mm. If you go down, they get even worse. Keep your dairy book in the closet. This guy's getting a lot of play time. Do you know this guy, dude? No, I do not know that one. Aw, uh, that'd be funny if you did. I know some people standing around him. You want to call anyone out? Nope. Who's this guy, bro? That's, uh, Haas Cash. Is that his name? That's what he goes by, yeah, Haas Cash. Haas? Cash? Yeah. And I, he, don't, I don't know him personally. <laughs> what the fuck? He looks like a mean ass. A mean ass mofo. Gay hating. There are two things you need to know about me. I'm a Christian and I hate gays. I felt worthless. <laughs> Whatever happened to normal books? The irony <laughs> is killing me. <laughs> what are you talking about? In a book? Personally, what? this drives me insane because like my father has fought for like uh, against discrimination towards Arabs. My uncle has like th their whole lives have been dedicated to that and being part of organizations. And it's like the media always tries to paint us as fucking like barbarians, and they do this shit, and it just undermines everything we work for. And you know, half these people are fucking barbaric if they're able to you know treat another community like that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel better, I see the cr the Christian Americans doing this shit way more often. Yeah. Although the media loves a nah, loves a mean Arab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. There's more of a level of responsibility, I feel like. We should know better by now. Well, that's the thing. Fundamental uh, religion, fuck your brain up, man. No matter who you are. What happened to normal books like the Koran? And the Bible? Them's the only books Nothing I sexual had. in those, right? <laughs> Them the only... <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody, the only book I got in the classroom is the Bible. In oh, fact, yeah. nobody was ever raped or killed in the Bible. Yeah, no. This is the blood of God. Now that's a good wholesome book right there, boy. Yeah. I tell you what, man, one of them stories there, a man, 
fu- there's some really so fucked up stories, dude. And it gives me What isn't there a story where a dude like fucks his wife's sister or something? I'll tell you, man, there's a good old family value like that, bro. Adult incest. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. That's so ominous. Is that a threat? I don't get it. Bad books equal evil ideas, disease, depression, suicide. Say no to evil with many colors. What? Leviticus. Oh, yeah, what, that's a real story, right? You must not take a woman in marriage and then marry her sister as a rival wife while she is still alive to have sexual intercourse with her. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, but. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> there, Read there. further. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, man, there's a story here. Man fucks his wife and her sister. It's a fucking, it's a good one, boy. Mm-hmm. And sister want to make love. Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zilla. Mm-hmm. Zilla? <laughs> Zilla. Mm-hmm. She made me come about a zillion times. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we called her Zilla. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good old-fashioned family <clears throat> values. There's uh, kids holding up a sign that says, Stop confusing us. Luckily, this child is wearing. <laughs> luckily, this this child is covered up, but I, felt, I feel I so know, bad for the other like kids whose parents put me. these fucked up signs in their hands that aren't covered up, and that's going to follow them for the rest of their lives. That they were. I hope not. I hope uh, not. Yeah, yeah, at least. But it's just funny. Stop confusing us. Well, the world is confusing at that age. Huh? Sorry to say. Wow, some of these are good. Oh, Lena, can you read the Arabic? I think Lena's not there right now. Oh, dang. Adultery, big sin. Homosexuality, big sin. Marriage <laughs> phenomenon between man and woman. I oh. felt gay. Oh, there, there, there was no, there, there, there's no conclusion on that one. <laughs> they just state it. Innate <laughs> sexual desire between man and woman. All divine religions are against this kind of relationship, boy. What book are they talking about? All divine religions. I find it so funny that they're talking about books. Books are known to be the biggest medium right now. Not the internet, not phones. Yeah, worry about yeah. your kids on fucking yeah. TikTok. Don't worry about a fucking uh, library. Books are having yeah. a moment right now. Dude, y'all yeah, really yeah. think these kids are going to the library? <laughs> like, That's the biggest delusion. You can't even stand for probably like 0.1% of media consumption at this point. <laughs> Meanwhile, your kids are like on Pornhub watching like... Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad, oh, I see... My- Dad! I, I seen a man prolapse on TikTok. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no penis oh. bother me, boy. You ever heard of Howie Mandel? She stop grooming our kids, they says. Let me just say, a lot of people in Dearborn are actually working and not taking part in this shit. Not a lot of people believe this. Right. And there are a group of people there who sincerely are just again like they they through one reason or another have just heard that there's these dirty books they've just seen the passages and they are just concerned with their kids reading something fucked up unfortunately you have all these people with their signs and all their madness that are making the media and uh it's sad you have to be a fucking idiot to think the whole town's comprised of these people i mean when do you ever think that about anywhere there's always crazy ass people it has a hundred and ten thousand people living there you know there's a room of like a hundred people by the way, uh, just to back you up, baby. Uh, by the way, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must fuck that uh, widow and have kids in his stead. Ooh, that's a good family value. Can I get a... That's right, and that is why the most pious holy man in America is Hunter Biden. Ooh, exactly that. that Hunter Biden, no Jesus like nobody else, man. <laughs> I never felt close to God when I was fucking a prostitute high on meth with a gun at her head. Oh, that's a give you a kick. Oh, Jesus. I found Jesus in that moment, boy. Somebody in the chat is asking AB if those are the same friends that were into Andrew Tate. <laughs> no, my friends are too fucking dumb to even go to a meeting. Okay. Yeah. 
They're not. They're they're too disinterested. <laughs> they're too disinterested. To they're just they're, yeah. Because that would have been a beautiful irony, but yeah, yeah I guess not. Uh, not y'all beautiful. need y'all need family men like Andrew Tate leading these here courses. Mm hmm. Anyway, so I tweeted this out. I said Christians, Muslims hating gay people because I was touched by the um, unity. Yeah, the solidarity. I yeah. thought it was very nice. Turns out we have more in common than we have different. <laughs> exactly. And, well, and then so my initial thought is I was like, mm, I wonder how's that tweet doing? And I went back and I was like, oh, man, man why, why am I even bothering? Like, why am I on Twitter? I was like, I go, are people mad about this? And I says, why do I even fucking care, dude? Why am I even on this stupid ass app? Like, me tweeting, it's just, it's literally a liability. It does nothing for me except stress me out mm -hmm. and potentially ruin my fucking life. So I said, fuck that, I'm just, I'm out! I do that all the time now. Whenever I tweet a meme or try to make a joke, I, five minutes later I go, why am I doing this? I'm out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it! It's not, if you're a famous person, you shouldn't even be using Twitter, period. Yeah. It's a Kinda liability. Agree. Done. End. I'm out. Kinda I'm agree. out on social media. Instagram, out. I use them. <laughs> TikTok, out. For the most part. We do stream on TikTok <laughs> five days a week. I well, use them, but I'm Four out. days a week. Here's the thing. If you want to know my opinion, I'm here talking 12 plus hours every fucking week. You know what yeah. I mean? If you want to know what I have to say about this, come here so that you can't get a little bite of me. So you can parade me around like, oh, I hate Muslims or I hate Christians or whatever the fuck you want to say. Just come listen and then, you know, you can learn that I do hate Muslims and Christians, but with more elaboration. <laughs> with more nuance. Yeah. Not a a B, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, not not all of them. Not you. Not yeah. Organized religion. You're a good one. You're one of the good ones. Mm. Well, that's <laughs> phrasing it a little weird. That's a weird <laughs> phrase. <laughs> no, you, you're trying. You're kind of making me forced to say something here. But you know, like you know, I've got. I want to make jokes that are so fucked up. <laughs> Please don't. It's rewind <laughs> For time. For sake. Yeah. Well, I'm Jewish and I'm I'm a uh, secular. So one of the bad the ones. Jews. Is what oh, you're saying. Well, according to Trump and Kanye. Yeah. 